It's not going to be as start. warm. It's not going to be as warm out there. I wouldn't say cooler out there. It is warm. It is muggy. It's not going to feel too bad out there today. Not as hot and humid as it's going to be later this week. Heading into the upcoming weekend. 75 degrees taking you out to DBU. Starting to see a few more low clouds push into the area. And I think we will see some increasing clouds. And that's going to help hold those temperatures into the 80s later today. So we're looking at upper 80s to around 90 degrees, I think, today. And then we'll have some lower 80s farther south. As you see, getting out to Corson County, Hillsboro, down toward Waco and Mahia. That's where we're going to have the better chance for those showers a little bit later on this afternoon heading into the evening. We've talked about the system out in the uh, Gulf right now that's likely going to develop a little bit more, bring very heavy rain perhaps in some areas from a uh, Brownsville up to Corpus Christi up toward the uh, Houston and Galveston areas as well, kind of on the uh, fringe of the heavier rain, but that's going to push over to an Austin and San Antonio. Now, as far as we're concerned, not a whole lot in the way of rain at all. A few of our southeastern counties out toward Jacksonville and Palestine, we've seen those clouds increase already, and that's going to be coming our way as we go through the afternoon, but the coverage with the rain only about 20% at best across the Fort Worth and Dallas down toward Hillsboro, Corsicana, and then those rain chances start to increase as we get down into Central Texas. Folks a little farther north, closer to the Red River, you may miss out altogether this time as far as the rain is concerned. Looking at our time cast as we go through the day to day, a few spotty showers, especially in our southeastern counties as we get into the afternoon and maybe even a rumble or two of thunder, but then as we head farther north, not much in the way of rain at all up toward the Metroplex and then our rain chances just start to dry up all together late tonight going into the early part of tomorrow. Maybe a leftover shower or two as we go through the day on Thursday, but that's going to be about it. We're going to start to feel the heat a little bit more later on this week and you see a trace to maybe a tenth of an inch. That's about all we're going to see with this uh, rain event. So uh, not much at all significant rainfall expected over the next couple of days. Here's that 14 day forecast for you. Those temperatures do climb back into the upper 90s, around 96 to 97 on Saturday and Sunday. But that heat index may be as hot as 104 on Sunday, and then we'll likely be dealing with at least a heat advisory across parts of the area as we head into the first part of next week.